Matthew from AM Train. So today I'm going to talk about should you train through pain. And before you guys give a loud hell yes, you should train through pain and stop being a little girl. Uh, no, uh, you want to make sure that you train pain free. And if you do happen to have pain, you want to address the pain and see and figure out why you are having pain in the first place. And then you will be more optimal. Um, the reason why that you don't want to keep training through pain is because it's going to lead into other injuries and it'll, you know, your injury will become even worse. And um, one thing that I was, I was in a meeting with a bunch of PTs and they discussed a lot of articles um, every month uh, or different little articles every month. And in this particular uh, meeting that we had, we discussed this one right here. And don't, don't mind the little protein stain there. I'm glad, that's a protein shake. I'm glad it wasn't vanilla because then you guys would be thinking I'm doing something else to these articles. But anyways, this is the one here, and basically it talks about how um, uh, you, you pretty much have like a pain adaption theory, and basically with pain adaption theory, you are um, recruiting other muscles, whether they're synergistic or even antagonist muscles will be recruited while um, in the movement if you have pain. And so even though you can still have that force that you go, let's say you're squatting for, for 400, and Let's say you're squatting 400 pounds. You can still drive that 400 pounds up, but we all know that's a compound movement, and so other muscles will take over, and that can lead to a faulty, faulty mechanics and not even being optimal. So, uh, for that for that moment, yes, you're training, but it's gonna lead. It's not good for overall uh, for long-term progress, and so um, and also this article only. Um, it, it, it talks about how their experiment was injecting saline into the knee, uh, kind of around the kneecap and um, doing an extension. So an extension compared to a squat is a big difference and, and so they were saying that you can still um, apply force and you can still um, have that same force even though that there's pain but uh, you'll use different muscles and that's not something you want to do when it comes to the squat, bench and deadlift because we want to use all, all our muscles optimally and try to um, you know, reduce any uh, faulty mechanics or faulty movement. Uh, you want to be very efficient when it comes to things. So hopefully that helps out. So moral of the story, train through pain, but you want to make sure that you address the issue so then eventually you will have no pain. So train hard, train smart, guys.